Well, it all, it all pretty much started um, around a, a photo I found of my, um, of my grandfather holding a, and it was taken in about 1930, I, I would guess, um, and he's holding a stick and the dog's jumping at it. First kind of indication. My grandfather grew up and as a, began a farm in 1920 in Werribee South, and um, and I grew up there for the first 11 years of my life. So yeah, when I saw that photo, it was sort of pulverising in a way because I um, I sort of saw him as a, a master of ceremonies, if you like. I wanted to have this kind of sideshow. I didn't want to be autobiographical in the sense that. Um, if there was any linear narrative, even though there are events that I want to to, to include in my painting. Um, and so, yeah, I saw him as being the initiator and he's punctuated through the show. There were probably seven or eight images of him. But it still has that feel, you know, and across the way is where the gypsies used to sort of camp in the fields or, or whatever. So these were all places kind of hung as a kid. And um, yeah, I loved it. I loved all that sort of colour and adventure, but there was a certain point in the day where I, I think after I got abused, I would have nightmares every night, you know, for, for years. And um, so I've tried to get that yellow light that's sort of but it's the fading of the day, you know, when um, that beauty is sort of stalked by a kind of dread, I guess, and, and it's stalked by this inherent violence, um, which was everywhere. I've, I've actually had incredible responses from people, from, from people who have been abused, and they seem to identify immediately, they, they understand the language of it. space after that time. Since we moved out of Werribee South, I kind of, yeah, it became very hard-nosed. And, and I always thought, well, it didn't, it didn't really um, have that much effect. It's only really when I sort of opened the floodgates on this that I sort of realised, you know, how much kind of residual damage was there. see it more like a, as a kid I was always drawn to sideshows and circuses and you know at one point I thought about running away, I wanted to run away with the circus but the sideshows are a bit more tawdry and, um, and populated with weird people and, and strange events and truths and half truths and, and um, yeah I, I, I wanted to have that, that kind of feel and um, you know you feel like you're stepping into something like a sideshow where you, you you know the stories are unfinished and they're you know populated by freaks and a sense of danger and uh, a, also a sense of um, you know optimism because the world isn't uh, you know isn't a flat place. There's a, that cleansing thing of the water too. You know I was absolutely kind of obsessed with water and um, I love to be around water and almost drown a lot of times because I'd step into sort of you know, yeah. step into it before I could swim, yeah. but that didn't sort of put me off. And so, yeah, there was a, a kind of, um, a, yeah, a real affinity with it. But, I, you know, it seemed like a vehicle that did cleanse you, you know, it would carry you away, it had the, you know, could carry you across the seas. Mm -hmm. 